you so much for stopping by my channel. Again, this is Simply Kiwi. This is just the first phase of this water marbling that I'm doing. Instead of doing a double stamp, I'm going to do a double water marble. So this is the first of the, the uh, set of the, the water marbling. And I just wanted to show you this before I did the second step of the water marble. But I'm also going to show you the first step on the other hand. But I just wanted to show you the completed first water marble with magnetic polishes. Which is gorgeous. So, I'll be right back. Okay, let me show you the items that I'll be using today. Um, I'm using magnetic polishes. The first one is Sparks Will Fly. The next, and that's from China Glaze Magnetics. The next one is Sally Hansen's Magnetic Polish, and it is Ready Response. And also, I'll be using magnetic force by color club and it is cop and attitude and let me go ahead and let you know that i did do a coat of the china glaze magnetics for my base which i have here and i've got my liquid tape which is from queen and let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing with the magnetic polishes. So let me go ahead and open up the bottles. And I smeared my other hand, but it's okay. I'm going to stamp over that with the, uh, with the next water marble. But I just wanted to show you this. And I'm going to start off with the Color Club color. And then the Sally Hansen color. And China Glaze once that spreads out. And do another round. This is not going to spread out too much, which is fine for what I'm going to do it for. And I'm going to be double dipping two fingers at once this time. And I have my dotting tool, which is really fine. So I'm going to go uh, this way and this way. And then it's not going to be perfect. I don't care about it being perfect. But I'm going to go in this direction, that direction. And I know it's pulling it, but that's okay, which is fine. I just want an abstract design. And I'm going to take my index, not my index, but my ring and, and my um, pinky finger and go ahead and dip it. And clean the excess around it. And slowly bring that up. There you go. I got a couple of bubbles, but that's okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. And I'll be right back. I'm wet and wild. Clear top coat. going to take my magnet again this is my neodymium magnet beautiful isn't it and then I'm going to go ahead and do one of my fingers here to show you what I do next with the white 
And I'm going to do my, um, mi my middle finger because I'm going to do those individually. And I'm going to go and try ahead and let that dry a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm using, with this, I'm going to be using On the Pale, which is Nina Ultra Pro. And again, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild. So let me go ahead and open that. Just let that spread out. Okay. And now I'm going, I know my rings are not very perfect, but just so you'll see what I had in mind. And I'm just doing like the flower petals. Okay, now I'm just going to dip that ring finger in, and I think I'm going to use this side. Let me get my popsicle stick. Okay, and I'm going to slowly bring that up. And look how cute that is, guys. So I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to do the rest of my nails and I'm going to come back and show you the finished results. But I just wanted to show you my double water marbling. <laughs> so I'll be back with the finished nails and let you know, let you see what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back and I wanted to show you the finished manicure. Isn't that gorgeous? I like it. Um, I do have some areas where I had <laughs> some bumps, but um, overall, overall, can't even talk right, y'all. Y'all excuse me. Overall, it turned out really well. Um, this hand this time didn't turn out as well as my right and my left hand. So I'm going to show you the left hand. This one turned out okay. That's but like I could say. If you look closely, you can see some of the mess, you know, the mess areas where I bumped it pretty much and tried to correct it. But like I said, overall, it turned out gorgeous. Um, I think I'm going to revisit this mani because on my thumb, I did the first water marble with a different placement. And I like that placement better. So I may be doing this again and just showing um, some photos um, on Facebook and Instagram. But let me show you my other hand. And this one turned out really, really well. And I like how each finger has a different style or, or different pattern to the flower. That thumb looks great. So, like I said, this hand, this time turned out better than my right hand. Normally my right hand turns out better than my left, but this time this one, I really love it. So stay tuned to the end of the video and you will see some great swatch videos of this manicure. Again, 
place your comments in the comment section. I want to discuss this manner with you all. And thank you again for watching. Be blessed.